So talking about today's video, again you have one more science paper which is left out for you to give in board examination. Talking about this paper, paper 2 of science, it's completely one of the easiest paper you will ever get apart from all the board exams you have attempted till yet. Say me why, ask me why, cause this is one of the easiest biology section paper. Rose my rag is in the game, what happens to you, you have to Right? So now it's time for you to chill off and easily get some importance from my side and you to make sure that you are not at all taking the stress of this paper and easily cracking it like other all paper you have cracked it. Okay? So now starting up with the importance, let me tell you which book you have to refer. You have to refer again science 2 textbook of government and uh, apart from that, you can easily go through some uh, reference material if you have to make yourself brush up with exactly some more figurative things which is not being mentioned directly in the textbook. Okay, now moving on to the chapter's importance, the first importance which I would like to give you is of chapter number one, heredity and evolution. Now when we talk about this particular chapter, there's a point we mention over here, transcription, translation and translocation. Any three out of it, any one will come out Definitely in board examination paper, either in the form of objective, fill in the blanks, match the column, true or false, correlation, etc. etc. or it may be asked in a tabular form in two or two or three marks question. I hope you will brush it up properly and digest it very easily. Okay, before that, let me tell you there are certain questions in this particular chapter which are definitely been asked every time in board examination. Uh, these questions are come on to page number uh, yeah okay, page number four anatomical evidence anatomical evidence these are the four diagrams which have been mentioned over here the first one is human hand the next is cat's paw like a patagium of a bat and flipper of a whale this all have same function as what a human uh, human hand has so make sure that you are making it very uh, you are uh, you know understanding this concept very easily with that one of the important easiest and finest answer. People, uh, board exam people always ask uh, is of vestigial organ. Vestigial organ makes sure guys that you are studying it in a very proper tuned manner. Now if they will be asking you that human hair in a human body is a vestigial organ. Uh, you know hairs on forehand or hairs under the underarms and all that stuff. So make sure the answer is true over here. Some people last time, last to last time this question came and they have written it false. Uh, human hair is of no use somewhere here, right? So it is a vestigial organ. Uh, if here what happens over here, you know, they ask you in a form of, uh, now hair is not an organ, but still it is on the human body which has no use, right? Uh, hence, we can say that uh, it is a vestigial organ, okay? Then after that, uh, vestigial organ, ka, there are some examples being given to you over here. Make sure you are studying it very properly and perfectly so that you will get marks for it. Paleontological evidence, there are certain less chances of this answer to come in board examination. Again, when I will be moving on to the next important question, there are two important questions out of which one definitely comes in board exam every time, every time whenever you will see the paper. Some of the gist of this particular answer you will be finding it everywhere. Darwin's theory, Darwin's theory is something which is very important from the point of view of board examination. You have to study this very completely and finally for you to crack three full marks in short notes. Now talking about connecting links, connecting links is again an answer which is important. Uh, you just have to know the important definition of what is connecting links and you, have to, you just have to mention these three examples that are given down here right now over here. Okay? And how it is connected to various phylums and arthropods you have to mention it very clearly. Mm, then moving further ahead. Human evolution, human evolution, uh, there can be a uh, you know, question of one mark in objective. Dash man is considered as the first example of wise man. The like answer is Neanderthal man. You can definitely get this question again in board examination for one mark objective. And uh, with that, I would tell you that objective parts 
everything you have to refer see this is a question with a short short question they can ask you uh, an objective with that uh, they can ask you some examples or the questions like correct the following statement by giving bracket uh, the, the below and with that uh, yeah fine so when i talk about science in the first chapter this is the only importance which is you know which is which, are, which is recurring every time in board exam you can find it anywhere in every paper darwin's theory vestige log in uh, lithological evidence lamarckism these are some common answers which are uh, you know highly repeated so i'll request you guys to go uh, perfectly uh, with the answers being by hearted by you in the board examination Uh, now moving uh, moving further ahead, we have life or uh, process in living organism part one chapter chapter number two. Again, make sure this diagram is again very important. With this, moving further ahead, yeah. So here over here we have ATP currency. ATP currency. Well, the question is again an important question. Make sure that this diagram has been highlighted by you in a very proper manner. Tune it up uh, easily because it's uh, completely easy. What is the full form of ATP over here? The full form of ATP is adenosine triphosphate molecule. Make sure that this full form is also highlighted by you. You don't uh, just leave the space empty in board exam if the question is asked. What is the full form of ATP? It's adenosine triphosphate molecule. Okay. Now this amongst this two diagram, any one diagram will definitely come in board examination. This diagram is jumbled diagram, which is asked to you in the problem uh, in the exercise part over here. Yeah, what you have to do is this diagram in arcs to you in a jumbled format. You just need make uh, need to make sure that you know the entire process of how does it goes, how does it starts, and where does it ends. So make sure that you are studying it in a very tuned manner again. And by hearting this, for sure, by heart this thing. Science too, man, you have to by heart things. There is no there is no point where you have to conceptualize certain things. If a uh, uh, certain biology chapters like chapter number six has something to go with the concept, but uh, further than that. by hearting is the only option which you have now coming on to the next page this diagram of circle is again an important diagram it consists at least three marks of question inside it so make sure you are studying it very properly this diagram on page number 16 okay moving further ahead we have uh, yeah we have a question again over here uh, in the form of you know uh, like uh, can you feel uh, can you recall So over here you can find out that this question has been given and there are black boxes been given. You have to fill these boxes for sure and make it complete. Now moving further ahead, you don't have to study all this. Uh, this uh, you know the spaces of prophase, metaphase, anaphase. If you want to study, you can definitely go with it. But if it's not that important, I don't hope that it will come in the exam. Uh, now moving further ahead, uh, the chapters ends over here, and you get a you get an exercise part over here. Exercise part, try to solve it out full. Make sure you are by hearting certain contents out of it, cause anything can be asked in board examination. Still go with the importance which I am giving to you, cause I am like pretty much sure that the importance which I am giving to you always turns up in board examination. That doesn't mean that I am a cross connection with someone in the board examination. But I have been teaching since long time, so I have a uh, Put a clear idea of it. Next, moving on to chapter number third, I'll be giving you only biologic chapter important today. I won't be giving you a you know EVS chapter by importance. Make sure that you are getting the importance in a very uh, perfect manner. So one, two, three, and let me just see which chapters are biology chapters. One, two, three, and yeah, it's sixth and seventh and eighth. So okay. One, two, three, six, and seven. This uh, five chapters important. I'll give you right now. And apart from that, the other five chapters important. I'll give you more. Moving further ahead, we have vegetative propagation. Answer. Uh, yeah, in page number two twenty two. Yes, in chapter number three, page number twenty two, you will find out that that there is a question being given to you. Asexual re reproduction. You should know that there are three types of asexual reproduction: binary fission, multiple fission. And budding, okay. And again, in unicellular organism, this three, uh, you know, reproduction process is there. But apart from that, what about in multicellular organism? It, uh, it has fragmentation, regeneration, budding, and vegetative propagation. Now, see, any one of this can be asked to you in the board examination uh, in the form of short notes. I won't say that you have to buy out everything out of it, but just to understand it in a very clear manner, which will help, that will help you gain good marks. So, what are the examples of for certain things? Like, if I talk about uh, multiple fishing, multiple fishing, my uh, you know, it's been 
given the example of amoeba amoeba forms into pseudopodia now the pseudopodia particularly it has been asked in fill in the blanks question like amoeba turns into what so it turns into pseudopodia during multiple fission so you know certainly they will be asking you some questions out of this all short notes in form of objectives also and if they will be asking you in the form of short note for three marks make sure you end up attempting it then moving on for the ahead uh, question now this is something which is very important in, in terms of board examination this came into my exam and i was in 10th standard uh, for five marks uh, you know sexual reproduction and plan so this is an important answer in terms of board examination i would definitely suggest you to by heart this answer and by heart the diagram to and practice how to make this diagram because one mark is for diagram one mark is for labeling the for the three marks are for explanation so make sure uh, three Plus two is equal to five. Five marks should be there directly into your pocket. One percentage should directly go into your pocket. Okay. Moving further ahead, we have uh yeah the world famous textbook diagram. Yeah, I want to be justifying it, but make sure that this uh, two answers are being done by you in a very tuned manner. Because again, this chapter is uh, you know if they will not be asking you the uh, short note of it, they will be asking you to draw this diagram and uh, label it. Uh, draw this diagram and label it. So you should be very much clear that how to draw the diagram and how to label it. You will be promoted. I hope so. Especially knowing those those diagram. Now moving further ahead, I'll be asking you to study one of the important answer. How is sex determined in human being? The so sex determination in human being. The answer is indirectly given over here. I hope so. You will frame a very great answer for it and be in study for it. And uh, apart from that. Uh, There are certain uh, labelings and diagrams which are given in this particular chapter. Just uh, you know, have a great reference or glance on it. But apart from it, I would also suggest you this diagram is again important. Menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle. The answer I'll tell you not to summarize it in the form of biotech, but just conceptualize it. Like what happens at which day? What happens? Fifteen days का period है, thirty days का period है, क्या क्या है? It is completely easy. Diagram, you don't need to, you know, by heart it. Just understand it in a very proper manner. That's it. Uh, now moving further ahead, there are three ways of reproduction and modern technology. So uh, over here, in vitro fertilization, surrogacy, and sperm bank. If you are not able to understand it directly, there are many such videos being available on YouTube. You can go and uh, you can check it out there. Apart from that, uh, yeah, that's it. The next page has reproductive health ka certain points. Reproductive health ka what is the one of the main uh, you know intention of biology paper is they will give you certain questions which are very much uh, you know self-explanatory. Like if I'll ask you what precautions you should you should take uh, you know to protect your reproductive health. So here is you know you can answer the pro answer the question in a very formal manner. Like uh, you can. List down the answers points uh, like you know without studying anything like uh, you know use of condoms, uh, use of you know certain things like uh, which will uh, which will precautionate our genetic areas, um, ha having uh, you know healthy sex with person and all that stuff. So this kind of answer which uh, you know you don't have to just by heart this, but you just need to have your presence of mind over there consciously or writing the paper. With the uh, sound mind, okay. So when you are writing biology का paper, make sure that अगर आपके पास एक इतना सा point है ना, उसको कितना उसको बड़ा enlarge कर सकते हो। मैंने मतलब finally video में हिंदी बोल ही दिया। तो आप उसको कितना enlarge कर सकते हो, आप वो आपके ऊपर depend करता है। मतलब biology का paper ऐसा है कि आपको उसको enlarge करना है जितने points आपके पास है। But don't write something which is out of the syllabus, out of the world, and which doesn't make a sense out of it. Make sure you are writing something which is very much on the point, crystal clear. Then over here again, you will find out that there's two questions we mentioned over here, year and year. Year and year, you can find out that there's an exercise part, and all the questions right from the top, question number one to question number eleven, everything is important in terms of board examination. You couldn't uh, skip anything over here. You should not. Okay. Then moving further ahead, I told you fourth and fifth chapter are again uh, EVS chapter, environmental chapter. So I won't be giving you. Importance of it today. Moving further ahead, we have chapter number six, animal classification. Animal classification chapter is again important. Now, what happens over here is you know students get little 
completely confused between what to write when for the uh, when you know particular phylums come like you know there has been a jumble up or mixture of every phylum because everything goes up with a common point i'll tell you how to write you know study it first of all moving on to page number 64 and 65 Over here, you can find that there's a diagram of jellyfish being given. Jellyfish ka diagram just by heart and very properly. Then over here, there's a bit uh, human body being given, and there are some labeling which is asked for. You have to do that labeling properly and uh, make sure that you uh, remember everything uh, which you have labeled over here. The thigh part is called quadriceps. Uh, the this part is called biceps, and you know. For them, there are differently things being given to you, and you know there are there are been nerves given to you in this diagram that is called blood vessels. So again, by heart this thing. Moving further ahead, you have approximately one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. Uh, one second, guys. Nine and yeah, nine. Me, there are three phylums. Like nine plus three, twelve. There are twelve types of phylums being given to you. Now, when you study phylum, guys, make sure what important points does each of the phylum repeats. Like you know, uh, every phylum has its body type. Every phylum has, talks about locomotion. Every phylum talks about you know uh, the body cover and how they like you know the, which class do they belong to. So make sure over here when you study, you make a common point for every answers of phylum, and then you start studying for it. अगर आपने हर एक फाइलम का इजीली आपको मालूम पड़ेगा कि ये फाइलम में सारे फाइलम में ये पॉइंट रिपीट है तो आपको ये फाइलम का पॉइंट कॉमन पॉइंट बना के रख देगा उसका फिर उसके बाद में आप जब 12 फाइलम पढ़ रहे हो तो आपको ऐसा लग रहा है दूसरा पॉइंट ये भी कॉमन है तो उसको भी बना के रख दो ईजिली आपको इस तरीके से पढ़ने का है ओके देन मूविंग फॉर द हेड You have one more important thing over here that is that is classes. Out of the six classes, any of the three, any of the four six classes can come in board examination. So make sure you are studying it very properly. Okay. Moving further ahead, we have chapter number seven. Ka importance. Sorry for the disturbance, guys. I was like, what uh, problem? Okay. Then moving further ahead, seven chapter. May you will find out that there is. everything which is completely easy in this chapter you don't have to study something you know like you know by heart karna pad raha na kuch karna pad raha hai thoda bahut dimag laga do thode bahut you know cheezon ke naam microbes ke naam yaad rakh lo bas aapka chapter pad ke ho jayega seven chapter i don't find there is something which is very much difficult in this chapter but surely go with the things which are like apart from you know getting up the coverage of uh, you know that uh, I don't want to be fake over here right now, but I will tell you that this chapter is something which is like easy one. So, आपको इस पर इतना दिमाग फोड़ी करने की जरूरत नहीं जो आपको ऐसा लग रहा है ना पढ़ना है तो आप पढ़ लो उसको I won't be giving you any sort of importance on this particular chapter, but exercise part is something which is very important. तो मैंने आपको पांच चैप्टर का इंपॉर्टेंस यहाँ पे दे दिया आई होप यू विल स्टडी वेरी प्रॉपरली एंड मेक श्योर यूटिलाइज एवरी इंपॉर्टेंस इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर एंड यू बाय हार्ट सर्टेन थिंग्स व्हिच आर आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लाइक कंप्लीटली लाइक इट इज नॉट इवन गिवन इन द टेक्स्ट बुक बट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो मेक श्योर दैट यू शेयर दिस वीडियो विद अदर मोर चैंपियंस एंड डू लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच वॉचिंग इट अंटिल वी मीट ऑल द बेस्ट